Good morning. Good morning, day 92. <laughs> and we're still at the Smith's Farm Holiday mm. Park. Mm. Beautiful spot. Yes. Super, super soft grass yeah, to and, sleep on. And I had my best sleep ever, <laughs> which is why I'm late, running late. So. So we've only got 13 <laughs> kilometres into Havelock. It's really um, like a link way. It's, it's a, 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 a combined cycle walkway next to the road. I'm heading in because it's a Saturday. There's an outdoor store that's going to shut at midday. So we've decided um, yep. I'll power on in. Yeah, Judy's going to get stuff. some dehydrated meals. I've already got enough. And um, and, and I'm going to get some gas. I'm just going to take my time and have yeah. a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. And um, and so we'll meet up in Havelock a bit later. <laughs> Cruising walking today. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. So enjoy your walk in the rain. Yeah, thanks. See you in Havelock. <laughs> See you in Havelock. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I am leaving the Smith Farm camping ground. It's half past eight, so I've had a very leisurely start to the day, which has actually been really pleasant. <laughs> I've really taken my time and um, chatting to a few people. And uh, last night was the best sleep I've had on trail to date. So um, I just slept so well, which was wonderful. Um, so I'm feeling full of beans this morning. <laughs> um, I've heard from Judy and now I've got the 15 kilometre walk ahead of me. But it's uh, mainly on the road, following the link pathway. And I will see her later. She had to get some dehydrated food, but I've actually got plenty. Okay. And later on, I'll, uh, I'm going to talk about the, um, the boots that I've been wearing and the pros and cons. Um, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy a little bit of walking. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Following the link path. These are the boots that I've been wearing. They're Gore-Tex and uh, they're, ke they're Keens and uh, they're very, very comfortable, nice and wide. But now I just want to talk to you about the pros and cons of wearing them. Okay, well, I walked the Tarua's in my boots and they did a great job because it was cooler up there and they kept my feet warm and dry i felt secure in them um, the only disadvantage i would say is because they're quite wide and chunkier than my ultras sometimes i couldn't get a foothold like i'd have to find a, a bigger space to put my foot than i would if i had the ultras on now the disadvantages of the boots are that they're gore-tex so they keep your feet dry, <laughs> but it also means they keep them warm. And unfortunately, when I'm not up in the mountains, they keep my feet very hot. Whereas the ultras, they keep your feet nice and wet and ultimately cold, which is my preference. So I think that the boots are gonna be great for the Richmond range. Because again, it's going to be colder and I'm up in the mountains. And I'm happy that I made that choice. But I think by the, by the time I pick up my ultras, sorry about that, I'm swapping over. Um, by the time I pick up my ultras um, at the, where is it, Arthur's Pass, I'll be happy to get back into them. Um, I got used to walking with them, I trained in them and because i don't like the heat i'd much rather have cold wet feet than warm dry feet um, and my feet got very very hot on the last on the second day of queen charlotte because we did a lot of walking and um it just became really unpleasant so <laughs> so boots trainers i have to say happy to be taking them up the boots up into the ranges but I'll be happy to get back onto my ultras. So, <laughs> I guess that's 
that's the way I'm going to go now. Okay, bye for now. It's been a very pleasant walk along this pathway into Havelock. It's flat and easy. Naha Kipawa, Naha Kipawa Hill, Sin it was a This uh, link pathway is really good because it runs all the way to Havelock and it actually keeps you off the road. Really good. Come up a little bit. That's the view. Just a little bit more to go and I'll be at the top where I am going to take a break. Not quite at the top, but I think this is a lovely spot for a break. So this is where I'm going to take my break. And that's what I'm going to be looking at while I take my break. Tuna and wraps. Still not at the top. Getting there. Now I'm at the top. That must be Havelock down there. It's about three kilometres to go. Okay, looking into the forest, I'm going to the holiday park and be meeting Judy there. It's very nice. It's, good it's sweet, below, isn't it? So we can actually sort our gear in the top bunk and sleep on the bottom. Wonderful. I thought that might be really high. Nice to see you. Hello. So <laughs> long. I know. And it was 15 kilometres, not 30. Yeah, I know. Bonus kilometres yeah. in the nature reserve. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is where we're going for dinner. The mussel pot and have look. I think that's the mussel. Green lip mussel. Mussels have arrived. They're my steamed mussels, garlic. They're my mussel tasters. And Judy is having a salmon parcel, which actually looks really lovely. So enjoy. Yum. Different ones are, but that's smoked marinated. Very good. I think this is. Mm. Okay, these are the green lip mussels with a bit of chili. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> really good. <laughs> green lip mussels, they're everywhere. 
It's just in the four square where we're staying. We've got back um, to where we're staying and I'm going to um, work on my videos and um, I bought a packet of chips, <laughs> carbo loading for the next 10 days and also I'm having another. It's very strong but it's very good. <laughs> so um, I think it's probably time to say goodnight. Judy's gone to have a shower and um, yeah, Polaris River section and Richmond range. So here we come.